for the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius... The recent past energy between you and your person, Five of Wands and the Three of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands, it often refers to competition. Usually this could be career or work, but since this is a love reading, I'm going to say it's referring to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer. You can be successful, but you're going to have to try just to see results. So, when this card appears, the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever now. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in a place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change. Just know that you can be successful. Now, it's paired with the Three of Wands. Well, with the Three of Wands, you could find that your finances, they're going much better. In fact, it can be a time that you might start to feel like your ship has finally come in. So you're likely to be feeling strong with a good reason. You could finally be experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way, even if you don't work outside the home. It does mean that your efforts, they're seen, they're appreciated, they're well respected. So give yourself some credit. So basically, recent past energy between you and your person, five of wands, and it's with the three of wands. So I'm getting that with the per. With this person that you're dealing with, you're involved, you're involved with, uh, when you met this person, or maybe during the relationship, you probably felt like it was good, it was growing, there was expansion, maybe the two of you were looking ahead, yeah, and you made a decision to go forward with this person. Because that's what the Three of Wands does. They made a decision. There's no need to look any, anywhere else. No need to look further because your ship has finally come. So you're going forward. So things were going much better than you probably thought possible. But then something happened whereas you, you found out that your person... Um, they could have been, maybe they were being pursued by several people. Yeah, because the Five of Wands is about romantic rivals. So it was about, you realize that you, you had to do a lot of competing. There was, you had to struggle for dominance just to stay on top of the relationship. Yeah, maybe you found out they kept, they kept up big black book of phone numbers that you didn't know about. So, it was going good for a while. You felt like your ship had finally come in. You met the one. Then you realized that they kept a big black book of phone numbers you didn't know anything about. And uh, maybe they were the type of person that used those numbers. Anyway, some type of competition was brought to the connection. Maybe it was unwanted family members, but for a lot of you, it was other men, other women, and you had to struggle for dominance. Yeah, that's a recent past energy. So let's see what's coming up for you two for the weekend, Friday the 13th. And you know what they say about that day, Friday the 13th. 
So let's see what we got here. Temperance and Queen of Cups. Now temperance, your relationships, they are likely to be going well. You may need to look at any deep personal issues, see if they're standing in your way, and if they are, how to work through them and integrate them, because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, in your relationships, your goals and aspirations. Now, this temperance is with Queen of Cups, which usually will indicate a woman she'll be helpful to you. The Queen reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work. And that's even possible, even if we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Things are probably better in your working world when you get this card in, your, in a reading more than you're realizing. So, coming up for that weekend, Friday the 13th weekend, November 13th weekend, Temperance paired with Queen of Cups. Yeah, also don't get stuck on the dates. I just felt like, I, for some reason I felt like I had to put a date on this one. I had to time stamp it with a date. So yeah, when you get the readings, the, the energy, the time is fluid. So it could be going on around now, could go into December. So anyway, coming up, Temperance Clarified by the Queen of Cups. So it looks like your person, um, Wow. It looks like you're trying to bring balance back into your life. You don't like having to be so focused on your person and a bunch of other unwanted, unwantables that are trying to get into the mix. You are trying to bring balance, peace of mind to yourself. Yeah, you want to let go of the drama. You don't like it, but it looks like your person does. Because if, if you can see the picture of the Five of Wands, there's four men battling each other. And then there's that one man off to the left. That's your person, and he's just smiling and grinning. He's enjoying it. Yeah, but you don't like that type of drama. So you're trying to find peace of mind. Yeah. You're trying to pull yourself together. You don't like to struggle for dominance. But your person, it looks like they're offering, they'll be coming around offering you, yeah, offering you love because Queen of Cups is, is about love, compassion. So they're trying to pull things back together, being very loving and compassionate compassionate towards you. Um, the Queen and the King of Cups, two of the most loving energies. I'm picking up your person. They do have love for you. Yeah, so the person could be trying to make things right. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Emperor and the Eight of Cups. Now the Emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, it's sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcome and that's what you must think about when you get this card in a reading. And I say this because card choices, they must be made to maintain focus, to maintain concentration. Well, the Emperor signals this, but he also signals that it's a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. And I say this because the Emperor only uses his head and not his heart. So enjoy the assertiveness, the confidence that this self-control focus brings. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you'll have little problems mastering any other obstacles that life can throw at you. Now it's with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups can mean that you choose to leave a situation no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, job, could be a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. 
And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself. Yeah, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Just know that one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. So, the challenge, the emperor, and the eight of cups. So, like I said, your person is reaching out to you. They see that you just want peace. You don't like a bunch of other unwanted, undesirables in this connection. Like I said, maybe it's a bunch of family members that you don't get along with. But like I said, a lot of you, it's your person bringing other men, other women, having a big black book that they carry with them. You didn't know they had. Um, they're, they're coming to make it right. Coming to fix this situation. Being very loving towards you. This person has love for you. But it looks like with the emperor here, you, you could go cold on this person. Yeah, you're not going to open up your heart. Yeah, because you see that they enjoy it. They like the way... It strokes their ego when they see you fighting for them like that. Because this man is smiling in the Five of Wands. Yeah, that makes you really mad. That they, they, enjoy, that they enjoy seeing you struggle for dominance. They enjoy seeing you fight over them. Even though they know you, you hate it. So it looks like you might go cold on your person. Yeah, that's what the Emperor does. It's very cold energy. Yeah, you're not opening up your heart. And with the Eight of Cups, it's showing that you walk away. You're leaving it behind. It's gone sour. That's what the Eight of Cups is. Now, let's see what the outcome is. We got the Knight of Cups. And the Two of Swords. Now the Knight of Cups. It's optimistic. Good card to see in the reading. They come with messages. Knight of Cups is a message bearer. Good news messages that we all want to receive. Things are going well. That's what the Knight of Cups tells you. So you could be feeling charged up. Ready for action. This card often means that good news Especially when it comes to matters of the heart. It's headed your way. This person is rushing in. Knight of Cups rushes in. Being romantic and sensitive. Now to the Two of Swords. Which tells us that your partnerships. They're likely to be going somewhat well. Whether it's friendship, romantic, business. However. You should consider. the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance, but this certainly requires open communication. So basically the outcome Aquarius, Knight of Cups, clarified by the Two of Swords. So here, you, here comes your person again. Yeah. They see that you're walking away, you feel like things have gone sour, and you're not opening up your heart like you used to. They come rushing in, trying to sweep you off your feet, being romantic and sensitive. That's what the Knight of Cups does. They come rushing in, yep, ready to, ready to get the job done. But you know what? They can't. They can't because with the Two of Swords here, you avoid and you block this person. 
that's what it's showing. So Aquarius, that is the read that I have for you. Just a quick reading for the weekend of Friday the 13th. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. They do not always resonate. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well, staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and check out the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this does not resonate, maybe my next reading will. So I have never said enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. Reading. And take care. Reading.